do you see in the um, in the future? Do you see a world without nuclear weapons? Well, I I, I think we should work for a world without nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not, you know, the, the human nature is perverse enough so that I, you know, I, I don't, I'm not confident that we'll get there. But but it's it's there, you know, nuclear weapons are unusable. I mean, we've established that. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Certainly, they're unusable more than after one more than one country has them, mm -hmm. which is uh, we used we used them 65 years ago, uh, and but they're a great danger. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, accidental, unauthorized terrorist use, and uh, so the question is, can we contrive a world where people don't? I mean, so the only reason you keep such a a weapon. I think is to is because you think you need it as because you think that your your uh, existence is threatened, mm -hmm. an existential threat. Some countries have that, um, and uh, you know. So I think we'll have to reassure that somehow change the world enough so that countries' existence aren't threatened. Um, you know, North Korea feels threatened. Uh, uh, the, you know, Israel feels threatened, Pakistan feels threatened. So, so, uh, but I think we're moving in that direction. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're moving away from wars of conquest. We really uh, haven't any, I guess I'm just trying to think, what, you know, have we had any? Well, we've had <coughs> wars of conquest, I mean, in, in, in the sense of in, within divided countries, mm -hmm. Vietnam. It's always a threat of, in Korea, uh, but the, but since World War Two, um, countries. I mean, and that, those are civil wars, really, mm -hmm. uh, and and those are the kinds of wars we have today. We, we don't have um, uh, c countries trying to take over each other because it's it's um, it's not the it's not the way countries gain power now. Countries gain power through economic success, not through subjugating other peoples. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the countries you mentioned is Israel. Yeah. Now, when I was at the JSA symposium, we spoke to one of the United Nations representatives, um, Gabriel Shalev, uh, from Israel. And uh, when we asked her about you know, the question about nuclear weapons, she said that, uh, that Israel never talks about it. It, it doesn't ever put it on the table in the United Nations. It never talks about it. So um, I have two questions on that. Um, number one is, um, is Israel producing nuclear weapons? Uh, is it um, separating plutonium? And my second question is, um, do you think that, um, that it's a good strategy? Um, for Israel to produce weapons, does it um, just influence other countries such as Iran to produce new, um, like nuclear weapons, or is that a legitimate thing because Israel feels threatened by Iran? Well, I mean, Israel does have nuclear weapons. Yeah. Whether Israel is increasing the size of its nuclear arsenal now is a, is a question of debate. Mm. I mean, uh, you know, some people think that they have. Around a hundred, and, and they're satisfied with a hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, Israel uh, was threatened. I mean, it, it, Israel first uh, got its first nuclear weapon around uh, 1967 or so, when when it was sort of it, um, attacked from all sides. Uh, the situation's changed now. Mm -hmm. Israel has peace treaties with Jordan, Egypt. Uh, it still has to settle things with Syria. Uh, so, so I don't think that Israel needs nuclear weapons today in the same way that it felt it needed them then. The the and and with regard to whether that's a, a provocation, it is. Is Israel is. The, you know the fact that they have nuclear weapons. It is a provocation. Um, Egypt is, is, um, continues to beat the drums. Israel tries to keep them as low profile as possible, to make them as, as, as unprovocative as possible. But um, 
but Egypt keeps beating the drums, and and uh, I don't know whether Israel's possession of, of first of all, Iran says it doesn't want nuclear weapons, mm -hmm. so it's difficult to to. Uh, so but that, of course, there's a lot of evidence that it may be their intention. Yeah, I mean the argument because is, they have those centrifuges already. That's right. right. You know, they say that's for peaceful, uh, you know, that's for uh, peaceful purposes. The, the, I, I think uh, those people, you know, people I know who have been talking about mm -hmm. Iran for years so it was, were arguing a few years ago that between whether, I mean, certainly everybody agreed that, is, that Iran wants a nuclear weapons option. Mm -hmm. Not everybody agreed that, that Iran had decided to actually acquire nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. it's, I think that, that, it, um, Group is diminishing now because because uh, Iran is, is uh, the checks and balances within Iran have been so reduced mm -hmm. uh, by the army of the Chad and and he's really running with the people who probably are arguing for the, the revolutionary guard people who do want nuclear weapons so it's certainly not a good time to ask Israel to get rid of nuclear weapons mm -hmm. uh, I don't know whether. Whether the whether it, Iran's made, Iran felt threatened by Israel's nuclear weapons, and whether it that that is a major motivation for it to acquire nuclear weapons, or just you know, I mean, Iran certainly has felt threatened by the U.S. And so its primary motivation may be, in fact, to uh, deter the U.S. from attacking it. Mm -hmm. Now, also um, another country. Um, which um, also has a nuclear reactor is in North Korea, uh, and I think it had its first one in Pyongyang. Uh, so, uh, how far up the step is um, North Korea in producing nuclear weapons? Well, North Korea has tested two nuclear weapons. Has had two nuclear weapons tests. You know what? I mean, there, there's a uh, people argue about whether. You know, they're the type of nuclear explosives that could be uh, put on, on a missile mm -hmm. or not. That, there's, that's an open issue. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's no question that Israel, that, that, that North Korea has nuclear weapons, mm -hmm. a rel relatively small number, uh, you know, probably, probably less than 10, mm -hmm. um, and not increasing. Because they, they were, I mean, last I heard, they weren't producing more plutonium. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it is, it has crossed that threshold. Mm -hmm. So, um, how easy, because we talked before about terrorists, uh, how easy is it for terrorists to um, smuggle, you know, um, plutonium? Because I think plutonium is very undetectable. Well, it's well, the, the most, most undetectable material uh, is a highly enriched uranium. Mm -hmm. And that's also the easiest to make a nuclear weapon. So that's the one that's of greatest concern. Plutonium is more detectable. Uh, but um, that doesn't mean it will be detected. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, the borders are so long. And, 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 and so uh, I, th I think... Uh, the, our best chance to prevent nuclear terrorism is to prevent terrorists from getting the material in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, a, it's a low, our chances of actually intercepting them mm -hmm. once they've got them are much smaller. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the premise of this, you know, locking down mm -hmm. nuclear, I mean, that's the basic premise on which that put, Proposal is based. It, re it recognizes that the most important thing is to make the nuclear material inaccessible. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you think? Uh, what conditions, you know, will um, trigger a war? Uh, for example, in Iran, um, if if North Korea is allowed is producing, you know, uh, it had already two nuclear tests. If Iran starts producing. Uh, is starting uh, nuclear tests. Could that trigger a war? Oh, yeah. yeah I, I mean, North Korea 
I mean, North Korea almost did trigger a war. And I think the, the, uh, the, the thing that made, that, that kept us from actually trying to attack them mm -hmm. was the fact that, that uh, Seoul is so close to the border. Mm -hmm. And uh, so vulnerable to conventional or chemical attack. And so that they did already have a deterrent. I mean, mm -hmm. They didn't need a nuclear deterrent. <laughs> Uh, uh, in, now Iran doesn't have doesn't have s something comparable to that mm -hmm. in terms of um, uh, hostage capital right on its border. Mm -hmm.